Hey everyone and welcome to VFX by once again. So in today's video, we are going to see how we can generate point cloud and from that point cloud, how we can generate mesh to do any kind of projection or cleanup work. Before starting this video, I would like to thank my all member who supported me. Also, I would like to share a news that you can support this channel by doing super thanks as well. Just you need to go on any video and just you have to click on thanks and by your choice, you can support this channel as well. Okay, so let's jump to Nuke and just see what we have to do today. So here, as you can see, I have a footage in which we have a camera moment already. I have worked on this footage earlier on After Effects tutorial. If you haven't seen that, you can go and you can check that video as well. So here, for the sake of this tutorial, what I have done, I have already tracked my camera and I'm not going to do it again and again as I have done tracking multiple times. So you can go and can check any of those videos and you will come to know how we can track our camera as well. So I have my camera tracker. I have my camera and I have my scene as well. Right. So to generate point cloud, what we need, we need a camera, a tracked camera for that thing. And I have my camera. So I'm going to hit tab on my keyboard and I'm going to type a uh, point cloud generator. So here I have point cloud generator and in point cloud generator, we have three inputs, one for source. So I'm going to connect my source to source and to camera. I'm going to connect my camera. If we want to eliminate any kind of movement apart from camera, we can connect our mass to roto shape or any kind of alpha as well. Right? So in point cloud generator, I have nothing to see why, because we need to analyze the sequence. So I'm going to hit on analyze and it will take some time. So analyzing has been done, but I am not able to see anything yet. Why? Because after analyzing my sequence, I need to track point. So normally it will come to input. So you can go to your global and whatever frame sequence or frame number you are tracking or you are working on, you need to select it. I'm going to hit OK. It will take some time. And once this is done, I'll come back. Okay, so everything is done. Now you can say very interesting colors over here. Some are gray, some are green and mostly are red. So as you know, red trackers or red points are not good. So what we are going to do, we are going to delete those points. So how we can do that here, we have an option called delete rejected point. So I'm going to click on delete rejected point. So I have very few points, something like that. So what else I can do? I'm going to hit F on keyboard to fit uh, that thing with the help of these point clouds. I can generate my mesh as you know that for any kind of projection, we need mesh. Either it is card or it, either it is modeled in uh, any other 3D applications. But here we can generate our basic mesh as well. So how we can do that? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to select my point cloud where I want to generate my mesh, right? So I'm going over here. Mostly I'm going to project on my castle. So here we have some options called select node. So I'm going to click over here and this time I'm going to select vertex selection and in vertex selection, I easily I can differentiate that these point clouds are of castle. Right. So I'm going to select those points and here in group, I'm going to create group. You can rename it or whatever you want. You can do it, but I'm not going to do it to save some time. And by selecting this group, I'm going to click on bake selected group to mesh. It will take some time. And here I have my mesh. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, put it back on mesh and here I can switch on light. So you can easily say it's not perfect, but it's a basic mesh to project anything, right? how we can do that, how we can use this mesh. So I have created one uh, basic projection thing, uh, some leakage over here, some cracks over here, some uh, text over here. So you can create your projection plate inside Nuke or you want to use Photoshop. You can go ahead and you can use it for this example. I have created a very, very, very basic thing. So for projection, what I'll be needing, I'll be needing a node called uh, Project 3D. 
right and in project 3d we have two options camera and what we need to project so for camera i'm going to take a frame hold and i'm going to connect it with, with the cam and in cam i'm going to connect my frame hold right this thing i want to project so i'm going to bring it over here and i'm going to connect it my what we want to project on which mesh we want to project so mesh will be this and for projection of course i'll be needing a scene i'm going to copy it and i'm going to paste it actually you don't need scene for this example but i'm going to connect it i'm going to connect my camera as well something like that and i'm going to arrange my file little bit right and as you know that to render it we need another node called scanline render so here i'm going to hit tab and scanline render so object scene will be my scene camera will be my camera and if i'm going to view through my camera projection so what i'm getting i'm getting this right so and i'm going to play it obviously it will be playing according to my camera movement so what else we can do i'm going over here and i'm going to take a merge by hitting m on keyboard this will be my main plate and this will be my all setup so i'm going to arrange it a little as well and if i'm going to view through my camera and let's see what we are getting we are getting a very good projection setup and whatever i have done in uh, my projection uh, plate so some cracks are there some text are there some leakage are there of course we can create better projection setup than this might be i can uh, paint some cracks in photoshop might be i can pre paint some texture on photoshop and i want to uh, uh, project over here might be i can clean this window my might be i can clean this window might be i can clean this window as well and i can do projection by same technique so i'm hoping this this technique will help you to improve your work and if you think that this technique is helping you please don't forget to like this video share this video and if you're new to this channel don't forget to subscribe with this said this is vfx5 signing off have a good day